Welcome to On The Volley, or as we like to be known, OTV, where we talk about all things football. Today, me and Matt, we're going to be previewing the England versus Germany game, okay? A great derby. How are we feeling, Matt? Yeah, I mean, it's a derby for us, but it's not for them, is it? They're, they're big ones always against the Netherlands, but uh, for us, it is the biggest international friction that we can against. And, uh, yeah, um, I'm more confident than I've probably been for a number of years, but uh, that doesn't mean I'm super confident, shall we say. Uh, we know our record. Uh, well, Germany, Germany have been stronger. Germany have won, um, I think, since 1996, okay, right? Uh, four games, we, we won one, um, correct me if I'm wrong, okay, he's, he's, he's a bit more clued up on the statistics of England and Germany. Um, uh, we, we, we beat him in a qualifier, uh, which was the amazing game, uh, yeah. the American, but it was fine, fine, what was it? Uh, the, uh, we, lost, we lost that. here in Italian 90, yeah. uh, we lost here at Wembley in 96. We lost in uh, Italian 90 on penalties, I was there, I was, yeah, I was at yeah, the ground, yeah. okay, Chris Waddle, yeah. And Stuart Pierce. Remember who's called okay. the equaliser? <laughs> yes, I do. Gary Lineker, all right? No, because I made a mistake, okay, in one of the previous podcasts, okay? I forgot that Davy Platt scored in the quarterfinal, not the semi final. I just got a couple mixed up, but I was there. I was, in, I was in Italian Novanta for the whole five weeks. I'll, I'll tell you what it all was at the time. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I mean, we've also got yeah, that, yeah, 2010 we lost to Venezuela on 4 1, which uh, with one last goal, with it bounced over the line, this line, this far over the line, but nobody seemed to see it, uh, apart from Lampard, the whole England team, and Neuer. Uh, and but, there was you know, no bar or goal technology. <laughs> no goal technology, yeah. In fact, I think it came a couple of years after that, probably down to that goal because it was ridiculously uh, over the line. But yeah, I mean, this game's the mean about this, you know, uh, and, and really, you know, in, in terms of the players that are playing today, you can't go back to 1990, most of them were even born. Uh, 96, again, a yeah. lot of this team were born. Um, a few of them probably remember 2010, obviously, it's not that long ago. Uh, you know, yeah, okay, they understand that it's a, a really sort of like intense fixture for England. Um, do they? Do you, do you think yeah. they do understand that? Well, Look, I, whether or not they understand how intense it is, okay, um, you, you, you go and take the England Scotland game that was an intense game that was a major 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 derby okay you know it is the derby yeah I think that's more that, that game's like the significance of Scotland as it is to England um, I mean obviously you know, you know respect to Scotland uh, but we don't always uh, cross maps in international tournaments so, no of course. Uh, which we have done with Germany and and yeah, they basically uh, had the battle since 66, um, which, you know, again, we can't go back into this job. But I think the players will be aware of what's going around in the media, because the media pump is up. The media hype up is finished up to the maximum, because, you know, it's the old, the old enemy, you know, Germany, so, yeah. Well, I don't know whether or not it's politically correct to use the term it's the old enemy anymore. <laughs> oh, okay, right. You know, but uh, anyway, uh, we understand. It's not what my you're terminology, saying. to be honest. But, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just yeah, mentioning. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I know. Of course, it's uh, how we look at it. Look, the, the, once upon a time, I'd be worried about this game, but today, I feel confident. Nearly. Okay, let me get this right, nearly. And I, I did say this, I'm confident in the players. I'm still not that confident in Gareth Southgate. If he picks the right team, if he plays, if he attacks them, I don't mind losing. Okay, you know, because you're gonna lose some games. But if we're gonna lose, we need to lose with our head held up high. No, we need to come up high. No, exactly. No, um, yeah, you know, you'd like to see him play. Uh, you know, the, the, the best. We're not. Ability. We're not losing, by the way. Yeah. But the, the best ability of the team, which we think uh, the best part of our, our current squad is, is this attacking ability, which you haven't seen in the first three games. Um, we're not. I'm going to criticise Gareth Southgate. Okay, you know, he's got us through the group stage. There's nothing that's going to change between now and the final. I mean, we know we're here to commentate, but um, I think you know, back in 
I'm not serious at all. Oh, I'm not not backing him. Don't get me wrong, and I don't want to abuse. Get me wrong, okay? I'm not not backing him. I did say in the last podcast I want him to prove me wrong. Yeah, I want to. Yeah. I want him to succeed. I want to sit here and say I was wrong, okay? Gareth Southgate, you're the man. That's what I want to say, okay? Let's not forget. I think England in our predictions, okay? I was the only patriot out of three Englishmen at the table that picked England. You. Patriotism and all overconfidence. It's patriotism, mate, okay, right? And overconfidence. (laughs) (laughs) Which I don't suffer from too much. Um, If I remember rightly, you picked Portugal. I think I thought Portugal for the start of the time. And, and that was down to, yeah. you know, the, the squad that they've got. Obviously, I, I received quite a lot of uh, their players, but obviously not as a city fan, we've quite a few decent players, uh, you know, and obviously they had been But they're out. They're out. And they are out. And, uh, and I said, I corrected that uh, just before we did the second round of pictures, which was, uh, yeah, that um, Portugal were a bit ragged. And, yeah. and I think they showed really. They so your prediction was wrong. You are already My out. My prediction was wrong at the start of the tournament, yeah. So, so, you yeah. know, we evolved fans, don't we? You know, it's, it's like basically, you know, you know we, we start off the next, you know, on the Sunday morning after a game on yeah, Saturday, but, which but never happens anymore. No, 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 but hold on yeah. a second. I would like to underline the fact that you and Keeper both said, yeah, you know, France, 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 but you chose Portugal and he chose Italy. I said, yeah. even though France are probably the favourites, come on, England. That's what I said, okay? I'm a patriot. Okay, <laughs> and 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 keeper still in though, because keeper still in because keeper has got Italy and Italy are firing. But anyway, anyway, let's let's go to the prediction. What do we think? I mean, what do you think is going to be the result? Who's going to win this game? So I'm, I'm going to stick with what I said before. I have to just just contribute myself because I have to be involved <laughs> as we get close to the game. Um, I think we, England will win it one 0 in one time. Uh, Germany play against France and it lots and lots of pressure but it didn't really create that many clear good chances uh, and also also in the last game against Hungary obviously you know, nobody felt it would be in that game uh, and they've not, it's not just the conceded two goals but they've left it to the last 10 minutes to, to, to be back in the tournament they're out, they're out uh, with the way things stood um, so yeah what them what them to do why not why not doesn't lose confidence. 1-0 to England, why not? Again, okay, for the umpteenth time, I'd like to apologise, okay, for my colleague here, okay, to all English supporters. That's all I've been doing in these podcasts. Anyway, look. If I said 3-0, you go nuts at me. 3-0, what? What are you I may, talking about? I may, I may, I may have done. I may have done. Okay, I will. I will. Yeah, I'm not going to answer that. I'm taking the fifth one. So now. here we go. I, I'm taking the fifth amendment. As always, avoiding avoiding the same question yourself. No, 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 no. I'm not avoiding it. I'm not avoiding it. Look, we're going back. Exactly. I've already stated this. Two one to England. I've already said it. Two one to England. And Harry Kane, he's going to score. Harry Kane will score. That's my prediction. You know why? Because I'm confident. He calls it overconfident. I'm a patriot, he says I'm a zealous patriot, whatever, okay? All I've got to say is, come on England! And we do have some German supporters behind us, over on that table over there, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, they won't be here, so we can't interview them later. All right, so there you have it. There's our prediction, there's our thoughts. Um, you know, come on, Sarah Gap, Gareth, Sarah Gap, Gay, I was going to say, Gareth, Sarah Gay. And I'm a long fan, one. Okay, God knows what I'm going to be like after the game. Anyway, um, come on, Gareth Southgate. Okay, please, please, please prove me wrong. That's all I ask of you. Yeah. With that, from OTV, we're out. We'd like to thank the Finnegan's Pub for our host today. Uh, put your comments underneath and please subscribe. Bye, thank you for watching. No.